in my eyes, don't know about y'all, one of the top three women's boxers is returning this weekend as Alicia Bumgarner is defending her undisputed titles for the first time against Christina Lenardetau, pretty sure. But before we get into that, we are all takes no whiffs. I'm Christian, that's Alex, and undisputed fight right here. It seems like we're getting undisputed fights just every other day now, and it's cool. I don't, I don't mind it. But this is a title defense more so than like a big clash for Alicia Bumgarner. But at the same time, there is some history right here, if you want to explain it to them, Alex. Oh, yeah. So Alicia Bumgarner has one loss in her career, and it came to Christina Leondarto in 2018, I'm pretty sure, uh, July of 2018. So this is kind of a big uh, revenge factor in this, too. So honestly, though, Bumgarner has gotten a lot better since then. And I think Leah Nadarto, I'm going to say her name a l- wrong a lot, but she, I feel like, has regressed too. And from her previous fights too, it has looked like it. she did lose to Michaela Mayer, and then she bounced back and won her next fight. But I'm honestly just kind of expecting Alicia Bumgarner to have a lot better game plan this time and to be a lot more sharper this time. So, uh, Christian, how do you think this fight's going to go? Key word you just said right there is sharpness. The increase in sharpness from Alicia Bumgarner in the past couple of years has kind of been scary from what we've seen in all the training and the results in the fights. And yeah, like you said, uh, I think it's been like like the scales just kind of tipped over at this point. Alicia Bumgarner not really having to figure things out. Like she is a lot more experienced compared to the first time she fought Christina. Yeah, I'm not going to say that last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the same from now on. Yeah, Christina. Yeah, and yeah, last names, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to avoid them. <laughs> but Alicia Bumgarner, I'm I'm really just expecting a kind of a clinic in this fight from her. And at the same time, even though her sharpness and her power has improved a lot, I don't think she's going to necessarily go for the kill in this fight. She might just style on Christina for a decision, in my opinion. Yeah, and that's the thing, too, with Bumgarner. She doesn't have, like, that high volume of punches in a fight. She kind of just picks when she wants a a punch, and she's very, very precise about it, too, which is why she is so good and Mm -hmm. honestly just so lethal. But I think the key to this fight for Bumgarner is definitely going to be that jab. She has one of the best jabs, honestly, in all boxing, either men's Mm -hmm. or women's. It is very elite, and that's kind of where in the first fight, it, she didn't utilize, I want to say utilize it enough. It's just that Christina, she figured it out and was able to close in the reach uh, pretty quick. So if Bumgarner can establish that jab pretty early, I think that she's probably going to have her way in this fight. Yeah, going to have to agree with that for sure. And I'm going to assume that she is going to be on top of it. And I'm expecting a clinic. I'm expecting a first successful defense for Alicia Bumgarner's titles. And yeah, Christina... I'm sorry, but this time around, it's not going to be the same fighter by any means. Yeah, and I'm I'm in the same boat, honestly. I don't think it's going to be the same fighter. She's going to see someone who's going to be out there. I, honestly, I wouldn't even just say for revenge. She's just going to be out there to defend her titles, to be honest, and stay undisputed. And another thing, too, is Christina Leondarto. She hasn't lost at the 130 division at all in her career. Her two losses came outside of this division, so... It's going to be very interesting. She's very comfortable in this, but I do think Bumgarner is going to come out with this fight with a very comfortable decision. Yeah, I definitely agree. And if any of you guys agree or not, you can let us know in the comments. Let us know your reasoning. If you think Christina is going to give Alicia her second L, like if you think she has her number for some reason, I don't think that's the case. But also go ahead and subscribe if you want to tune into the recap next week, see what we think about the fight and the results. And I'm really looking forward to this fight. But until then, Peace. Peace.